This is the first video in a series I call Microbe Mania, where I'll be focusing on some interesting aspect of the microbiome that you can put to use for your own health. So I'd like to start out with my favorite bacteria in the world, which is Lactobacillus reuteri. But before I get to that, let me talk about this issue of strain specificity. So bear with me for a moment. There's something we must pay, pay attention to in the world of microbes, and that is their strain, the bacterial strain. To illustrate, you have E. coli in your intestines. Your family and friends have E. coli. I have E. coli. But what if you ate lettuce contaminated with cow manure and get contaminated by, by uh, E. coli? Well, you can die from that contamination. Same species, E. coli, different strain. So strain can literally make a life and death difference. So we must pay attention to strain. Unfortunately, when you buy commercial probiotics, most commercial manufacturers fail to even specify the strain, a major oversight. I think they're in the process of fixing that and specifying the strain, but it's gonna be a while before all brands actually specify the strain. But Lactobacillus reuteri, the two strains we use are sold to us from a by a company in, in Sweden, and they sell a product called Gastris a company I have no relationship with. But the Gastrus product contains two strains, DSM-17938 and ATCC-PTA-6475. Don't remember that. Just see my Wheat Belly blog where I have a post called L. Reuteri Yogurt, a step-by-step -step guide. And it shows you how I make yogurt from this, a rich, thick, delicious yogurt that has these spectacular health effects. Why try to obtain Lactobacillus reuteri? Well, most modern people have lost this bacteria. 96% of modern people in the Western world have lost this important uh, bacteria, likely due to antibiotic exposure, antibiotics in livestock and meat to accelerate growth, herbicide, pesticide residues in uh, produce and vegetables, and many, many other factors that have disrupted the human microbiome. And Lactobacillus reuteri is one of the casualties that most people have lost. You were supposed to have gotten Lactobacillus reuteri from your mom through breastfeeding or passage through the birth canal, but all those factors in life have eradicated Lactobacillus reuteri from most people. And maybe your mom didn't even have it herself. She may have lost it for the same reasons. And when you did breastfeed or, or you were delivered vaginally, you may not have acquired the bacteria in the first place. So for all those reasons, most people do not have the advantages of this bacterial species and strain. So if you restore this organism, what can you expect? Well, one of the biggest effects of restoration of Lactobacillus reuteri is its ability to provoke release of the hormone oxytocin from your brain, from the hypothalamus and pituitary. And when you boost oxytocin, all sorts of very interesting physiological effects develop, such as there's an explosion in dermal collagen. You know, as we age, our skin thins, and you've seen older people with really thin, wrinkly, crepey skin. Well, oxy reuteri via oxytocin increases dermal collagen dramatically, starting within a few weeks. And because of that, you see a reduction in wrinkles, wrinkle depth. There's also a 35% reduction in healing time for any wound. There's also a restoration of youthful muscle and strength. Personally, my, my strength and muscle mass went up dramatically when I added reuteri. There's preservation of bone density, about as powerful as an uh, osteoporosis drug. That's how powerful reuteri can be. There's a suppression of appetite. You are, you, you're given complete control over appetite. There's an increase in libido. So very interesting effects. There are also emotional effects of the oxytocin. So you've probably heard that oxytocin is often called the hormone of love. So it increases affection. It also increases empathy and ability to see the other person's side of things and it increases a desire for human connection. So people tell me that they like their families better. They like their, their partner better. They're able to see other people's points of view better. Now think about this. We live in a time of increasing social isolation, record suicide rates, increasing divorce. Is at least part of the explanation, the loss of reuteri from the modern microbiome, and is part of the solution, restoration of lactobacillus. I think it is. Another world of effects from Lactobacillus reuteri is its unique ability. Unlike most other probiotic species, reuteri likes to colonize the upper gastrointestinal tract. It colonizes the stomach, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Most other probiotic species prefer the colon. So when Lactobacillus reuteri takes up residence in the upper GI tract, it produces what are called bacteriosins. 
Bacteriosins are natural antibiotics effective against the harmful bacteria like E. coli or Shigella or Campylobacter. These are bacteria in the Enterobacteriaceae group that, are, that cause SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So I think that restoration of lactobacillus ruteri is helpful in preventing SIBO and can be helpful once you've eradicated SIBO, like in my programs, the undoctored programs, uh, it can keep it from recurring because SIBO loves to recur. So lactobacillus ruteri plays a very important probiotic role. How do we do this? Well, I, I urge you to take a look at my Wheat Belly blog, but it starts with the gastrous product uh, in tablet form. We crush the tablets and then we make a mixture of the tablets with, I use organic half and half and two tablespoons of a prebiotic fiber. That mixture is fermented for a prolonged period of 36 hours. Uh, so it's that prolonged fermentation in the presence of prebiotic fibers that gives us very high bacterial counts. We get around 90 billion bacteria, or CFUs, per half ounce cup. And we consume a half cup every day or two, and that's where you get these spectacular results. So you need the gastrous product to start. You'll make future batches of L. rotori yogurt, by the way, from prior batches. You only have to buy it once. So the first batch made from tablets, next batch made from a couple tablespoons of the prior batch, either the liquid whey or the solid curds, you make or, or both. And so you only have to buy it once, make subsequent batches. I'm up to about batch 100 or so, and I've never used the tablets again. Uh, but please take a look at the instructions because many people make some mistakes. They fail, for instance, to make a, um, a slurry of the mixture first because the prebiotic fibers like to clump. So first take a look at those instru instructions in my Wheat Belly blog. It's really very easy, but you're going to find life-changing effects of restoring lactobacillus ruteri. So I refer you to my Wheat Belly blog where it shows you how to make the yogurt. If you think you have SIBO, I invite you to join my conversations in my undoctored inner circle where I show you how to uh, identify then confirm the presence of SIBO, what to do about it, to eradicate it, what you can do to increase the efficacy of the uh, of the path, the strategies you choose, and also how to prevent recurrences. That those efforts will include lactobacillus ruteri yogurt, but you need to go further than that. But uh, and in a future conversation, I'll talk more about other species, other strategies that help you build a healthier microbiome.